Hello everyone. In today's class, we are going to see how to apply a brush effect for an image using Adobe Photoshop. Use of creating these kind of brush effect is you can see these examples which I have created. To create these kind of brush effects, I will teach you two methods in this video. Method one is I will use a normal default brush in Adobe Photoshop. And in second method, I will download a brush effect and PNG image from the internet and I will use it. So let me explain one by one these methods. So let's start. First, create a document and press B in the keyboard for brush tool. If you go to the brush tool panel, we have n number of brushes in that we can only use some particular brushes for clipping mask. For example, if we move the cursor on the brush style, we can see the brush is named and below the name in a bracket, it will be named as brush tool. If it is named as smudge tool or mixer brush tool in the bracket, so these brushes can't be used for clipping mask. So check the brush before drawing a stroke in the document. Let me use this brush create a new layer. In Photoshop, if we create a new layer, it creates a transparency layer like this. Now the white color applied layer is the background layer. So don't get confused. To apply the brush stroke, create a new layer which should be transparency background. Now select the new layer and take the brush to increase and decrease the brush size, open brace and close brace. Click in the document. You can see there we got the color. So now press shift in the keyboard and click again. We will get a straight brush stroke. If you did not use shift and click, we won't get a straight brush stroke. Let me create this again. Have a look. Now create a new layer and place the image in the layer and right click the image layer. Give create clip masking. You can see that we got a beautiful masking design in simple brush stroke, which we created. We can use this kind of masking for creating posters, visiting cards and album like photo collages. And we can resize and scale, move the image and the brush stroke by using transform option, pressing Ctrl T in the keyboard. Now let me hide this layer and I have downloaded the brush stroke style like as a PNG file from the internet. We can download more brush strokes from the internet. It should be a PNG file. And from Adobe also we can download brushes using this downloaded PNG file brush stroke. I'm going to mask an image. Let's create a layer to place the image. This image represent a movie in that the posters will be done using brush stroke. They would have used different brush styles. Now let me mask this image and show you how to clip mask an image using downloaded brush stroke. We can use shortcut like alt in the keyboard for clip mask or we can also use right click and give clip masking. You can see that we have masked the image. We can scale and move it using transform option. Using brush strokes, we can create simple and beautiful designs. Let me group all these and show you people once again as fast as I can how to clip mask in a brush stroke. Take a brush, click in the document and use shift and click. Again, we will get a straight brush stroke. Now create a new layer and also we can use control shift N to place an image. Now right click or use alt and click in the between the layers to clip mask. Now right click or use alt and click in between the layers to clip mask. That's it. We got the design. We can also use this kind of design as a YouTube thumbnail and etc. This is all about how to clip mask in brush stroke. I hope the video was helpful. Thank you.